All right, I got two minutes and 15 seconds to give y'all this one, all right? So let's look at the Zodiac wheel, man. We see that Jay-Z is a Sagittarius, Kanye West is a Gemini. These two are opposite each other. Now, on the positive side, this can work because fire needs air to breathe. Sagittarius is a fire sign. Gemini is an air sign. So we saw them come together and have tremendous success with Watch the Throne and other ventures that they had, right? But the opposite or the negative aspect of opposition can be a conflict. This is a fact, a fight, because they're looking at each other and they can meet in the middle and bump heads and crash, okay? Now, let's look at Jay-Z's birthday because it's really going down in his constellation. When he was born, notice the sun was a little bit to the left of the scorpion's claw, right there. You see it, okay? Now, look what's there right now in our time, Saturn. Now, it's interesting that they did a song that you hear the instrumental to, Lucifer, the sun in the morning, right? Lucifer is known as the devil. The devil is known as Satan, okay? Satan is nothing more than a cold word for Saturn. See, in our study, we hear a book called Saturn, a new look at the old devil. We have been new what this represent. You understand what I'm saying? So when you have the Sabbath or the day of Saturn, which is Saturday, you understand what I'm saying? And the next day is the day of the sun, which is Sunday. You understand what I'm saying? We live in a reality that's talking about cosmic principles on the external, but these are actually internal psychological processes that we must go through. So when these two have teamwork in hand, opposition, don't you find it ironic when Lucifer or Satan gets in that same space that you just saw with Jay-Z, which is opposite Kanye West? These two would start to have some conflict. Now, i say this. I would not be surprised that during this Trump administration that Jay-Z will be under some type of government investigation just by looking at this right here. I'm calling it early. It's a very strong possibility. All right. So with that, man, y'all know what to do, man. Subscribe, share with a friend, man. And I'm actually going to put on some presentations. So y'all need to um, just stay abreast, man. Stay abreast, subscribe, man, because I'm, I'm going to show y'all some stuff in December on how the Bible, the Zodiac, and Jesus Christ is all talking about one science. Peace.